Hello, Anna here, and I'm here to talk to you about comfortable cycling in the downstairs region. I mean, we all know what it feels like when you've been on a long ride and it starts to get really, really uncomfortable. And there are so many ways to avoid this. It's not a necessary part of cycling. It is possible to almost eradicate soreness entirely. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the tips that I have in my little booklet in my Anna's Legs leggings. So anyone who buys my leggings gets them arrive in this really nice packaging and they get a little booklet. And the booklet is called Take Your Knickers Off and Other Tips. Now, when you wear padded shorts, you'll notice that it comes with a padding. You, you might have seen the word chamois or chamois as it's written, but it's actually pronounced chamois. And it's this padding that comes inside your shorts or in your leggings or whatever. Now this padding provides a buffer between your bum and the saddle. So it acts as a cushion in a certain way, but it's not just about acting as a cushion. It's also about reducing friction. So when you have too much friction on your skin and between the saddle, that's when you start getting saddle sores. So the idea is not just to have as much cushioning as possible. So you might have seen some massive saddles out there, really soft and squishy ones. Those ones are more likely to give you saddle sores than a thinner, more streamlined saddle. That's one of the first things that you need to think about. What kind of saddle are you riding? Often the thin ones with a cutout in between forces you to sit on your sit bones and then your sit bones take the pressure rather than the front of your bum. Now when you have padding, you do need to take your knickers off. This is like the first sin of uncomfortable cycling is wearing your underwear. Get rid of it, take it off. Your underwear is an extra layer of friction between your skin and the saddle. And also your underwear has seams, it has edges, and all those things, they rub. And the point of the padding is to act as a buffer between any sort of, um, is to act as a buffer between any sort of seams and your skin and the saddle. So you need to get your underwear off and run free and ride free. You're going commando when you put these things on. Okay, what else do I have in here? Use an antibacterial chamois cream. So a chamois cream, you can rub straight onto your skin and as in the name, it's antibacterial, so it's stopping, killing that bacteria that is stopping the rashes and some of those bumps and those spots that can be quite painful. Um, so before every ride, put on some chamois cream, put it directly onto your skin, and then after your ride, make sure you have a proper wash down there and never ever wear your padding for two days in a row. Make sure they get washed before you take them out for your next ride. Keeping everything clean is going to help you in a massive way to avoiding saddle sores. When you're washing your cycling kit, I mean you have to wash kit day in day out and it needs to be durable. You want to be washing this sort of stuff at about 40 degrees because you really want to be killing all of that bacteria inside. Now your jerseys and other items, you can maybe wash at a more eco-friendly 30 degrees but when you're washing your padding, make sure you get the heat up a little bit. Another, okay, and another thing that can help contribute to getting a sore bum is actually the bike fit. So no matter how much padding you get, no matter what a good saddle you get, if you are not fitted on your bike correctly, you're gonna get sore. So maybe take yourself to a bike shop and get a proper bike fitting. And also just as a general rule, when you're sat on the saddle, your toes should just be able to touch the floor. If you can't touch the floor, you're gonna wobble around when you stop, you're gonna be pulling your legs, you're gonna be stretching them out too much, it's no good. If you can have your feet flat on the floor or more, then that is the danger zone. You should not be able to have your feet flat on the floor because that's putting too much pressure back on the saddle area. So just your tiptoes 
on the floor is what you should be aiming for to get the right amount of comfort when you're cycling. So yeah, there are my tips and advice for comfortable cycling in the nether regions. I hope you found that helpful and please do subscribe to my channel.